today we're actually going to do something different. Instead of doing makeup, we're going to be removing makeup. We're going to try out the new e.l.f. face erase thing. And then uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to read the back for you guys. And then we're going to wet it down, see if it takes the makeup off. And then I'm going to wash it like it says. And then I'll show you how well it comes clean. Because I know like my Tati Beauty buffer thingy uh, this isn't a makeup remover but like still it's kind of a similar product and this like I've washed it it is so stained like I it does not get clean and like I followed all of her instructions on how to clean it in her video and it still didn't really get clean so <sighs> and so we're gonna see if this actually comes clean or if it kind of stains as well we'll see what the tea is I mean I think I'm going to look at the price and throw it up here, but I want to say it was like $3 or something. Like it was like really cheap. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah. So it says on the back, it is a reusable and soft makeup remover pad that allows you to remove your makeup with only water. So basically you just wet this down and wipe it off. This makeup remover wipes your face clean from all types of makeup without the need to rub or scrub. Well, this is the e.l.f. H2O resistant eyeliner, so we'll see how well it does. I know, I know right? Bugs into it. And let's see. Water assists in loosening your, up your makeup while the technology of the fiber strands hold onto the makeup to ensure it does not transfer back onto your skin. The face erase reaches deep into your pores to remove all impurities, allowing a clean and fresh face. Ooh. So step one... Wet the face erase with warm or cold water. I'm going to do warm, but it's probably going to be cold by the time I like start wiping. Whatever. I'm going to start warm. <laughs> Two, gently wipe onto your skin until all makeup is removed. Step three, rehydrate as needed. And then step four, it says for heavy makeup, which is like every face of makeup, <laughs> hold the face erase on the stubborn parts of your face for a longer period of time to break down the makeup and wipe. And then for wash instructions, it says, for best results, sanitize the face erase by hand washing after each use with soap and warm water to remove all residue. Machine wash if needed. Use 100 to 200 times before replacing. So this bad boy should last you for, like, ever. Well, so, well for like a month for me, but like, <laughs> forever. <laughs> so we're going to crack this bad boy open. I haven't even opened it yet. Got that new poof smell. Is that a thing? I don't know. Can I get it open? There we go. Okay. So, first impressions it's very soft, very flexible. Has that new poof smell? Alright, I'm gonna go wet this down and then we'll see how well it removes all of this. Hold up. Okay. It is wet. I don't know. Whoop, duh. There you go. See? It's wet. And we'll just jump right in here. And see how well this removes the makeup. Okay, so far it's it's doing pretty good. I mean it's Maybe I need to do the whole press and hold thing. Because I did set the makeup. You can see it's it's coming off. Okay, I took the uh, J-Star lippy off, but I did eat like a Frisco melt, so there was a lot of oil already like on. Okay. It was already breaking down, basically. Let's... See how it does on this eye makeup though, because that's going to be like the real test. I'm going to hold it on there, because, okay, that removed, that removed, and it is actually taking off the, uh, the eyeliner, which their eyeliner, Elf's eyeliner, really does not budge for me, like, it's one of the rare eyeliners, like, it's like really cheap. And, like, I have hooded eyes, and a lot of times, like, when you have hooded eyes and you do, like, a thick eyeliner, you end up with, like, double liner over, like, the hood of your eye. And it does not budge for me, like, at all. So, the fact that 
It's H2O proof, but whatever this is made out of, it took it right off. Okay, well, so far this is, uh, it's doing what it says it's supposed to do. Which is good. That's what we want. That's what we want to see. Okay, now I'm going to remove this eye makeup, and again, it came right off. Hold it on here to get this eyeliner off. Okay, I mean, that, that did remove. Let's get the neck. All right, and then there's how filthy she is, okay. I'm gonna go wash this with just soap and water, and we'll see how clean it looks afterwards. Okay, I washed it with just hot water and soap, and it's completely clean. Like, my hands are still wet from the water, okay? Like, I literally just washed it completely clean. Like, I watched all the, like, makeup just Whoosh, go down the drain. So this, again, I'll double check on the price, but I want to say it was $3. You'll see if I'm wrong. <laughs> but for $3, like, this definitely removed the makeup, like, even the eyeliner, which is, like, notoriously hard to get off anyway. And um, came clean, unlike the Tati poof. When Elf can do it better than Tati Westbrook, <laughs> girl, mic drop. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, I would definitely recommend doing this and you know it's supposed to be a much healthier thing for your skin than wipes which I use like all the time so I'm trying to get away from them and uh, this might just do the trick this might do it so definitely check it out hope you guys enjoyed this bye